Daily cases, though, in the state of California have doubled just in the last 10 days. This is simply the fastest increase California has seen since the beginning of this pandemic. The highest rate increase that we have experienced since the beginning of this pandemic, we experienced in June. Uh, you see June 15th to June 21st, we saw a one-week increase of 39.2% of new cases. Compare that uh, to the week, the first week in November, a 51 0.3% increase in just a one-week period puts the perspective uh, the rate of increase that's simply without precedent in California's pandemic history. We are now moving backwards, not forwards. And last week was an indication, an early indication uh, of some movement in the, well, more restrictive direction. Let me specifically tell you what I mean today. 40 counties now will be moving backwards in the state. Uh, you'll see, and I'll show you again, in the original last week tiered status, you have 13 counties in purple, 22 in red. Uh, today, we have 41 counties in purple, 11 in red, less in orange, yes, and less in yellow still. So take a look at the map, not those numbers, and you can just see all the purple all up and down the state. As you may recall, uh, we collect data we adjudicate the data with our local health officers, with the state of California. Uh, we have a two-week protocol and process to do that. Pursuant to uh, the announcement we're making today, counties will move back after one week, not two weeks. Counties that move back also must make industry or sectoral changes urgently. Instead of a 72-hour wait period, uh, we want to see uh, the application and implementation of these new, new tiered status uh, occur in a 24-hour period. Dr. Galley follows up these Monday press conferences on Tuesday and updates the movement between counties. Today, uh, we are moving forward, not waiting for Tuesday. Uh, to make announcements. We have been preparing precisely for this moment. Uh, we've been modeling this moment. We've been uh, foreshadowing this moment for many, many months since the beginning of this pandemic. Uh, you'll recall a, a number of surge facilities that uh, we had advanced in the midst of this pandemic in those more difficult summer months. We worked with the federal government. We worked with state, uh, regional, as well as county agencies to set up sites in Fairview and Porterville, uh, up here in Sacramento at the Old Arco Sleep Train Arena. Those sites are in what we refer to at the Office of Emergency Service lingo in warm status. Uh, we are now dusting off that status, and we have the ability uh, with 11 surge facilities throughout the state of California to stand them up within a day uh, or within, certainly, a uh, calendar week. We have capacity, if needed, and again, if needed, of roughly 2,000 beds total capacity in the surge status, 1,872 to be precise.